The world is always turning, turning toward the dawn. And although nights can be dark and long, each day brings a brand new sunrise. But where does the sunrise begin? Some say it begins on the mountain, so high above the earth, that you can see the sunlight before it ever touches rivers or lakes or forests or prairies, all lying far below. Here the first morning candle burns away the darkness, but the mountain is not where the sunrise begins. Some say it begins in the treetop, where the birds notice the first soft lights and begin to sing, each in their own way, with their own melody, waking the sleepy world around them while the first breeze shivers the smallest leaves. But the treetop is not where the sunrise begins. Some say it begins in the marsh, where drowsy ducks shake their heads and fluff their feathers and test their wings for the day's first flight and speak in soft murmuring tones about the things that ducks know. While the muskrat glides silently through the cattails, but the marsh is not where the sunrise begins. Some say it begins on the lake, where fish rise and dimple the smooth glassy surface where the water rises and falls as if breathing and chuckles in the hollow places along the rocky shore. And someone on a dock plops in the first bobber of the day. But the lake is not where the sunrise begins. Some say it starts upon the great rolling sea over waters deeper than the highest mountains on oceans that enfold and encircle all the earth and make life itself possible, where ships have long sailed into the great unknown and where travelers know the ancient saying, red sky at morning, sailors take warning, but the sea is not where the sunrise begins. Some say it begins in Africa, where life first arose and walked on two legs and spoke its own name where the bones of a being who lived a thousand million sunrises ago wait for the sun and for someone to find them and learn their ancient story. But Africa is not where the sunrise begins. Some say it begins in the far east, the land of the rising sun, where people have long greeted the day with prayer and meditation and the sound of a gong where the sky blooms with the first light and bonsai trees cradle the sun upon tiny branches. But the far east is not where the sunrise begins. Some say it begins in the Middle East, where the light of many great religions first shone, where Abraham and Moses and Mohammed and Jesus walked and listened for a still, small voice, a voice that people argue over yet today in a land known as holy. But the Middle East is not where the sunrise begins. Some say it begins in our own native land, where the first light falls upon scenes that are known and loved, where people speak a familiar language and act in familiar ways, and where the rest of the world seems a bit strange and far away. But our native land is not where the sunrise begins. Then where does the sunrise begin? Because the world is always turning toward morning. Every moment brings the sunrise to someone, somewhere in the world. Wherever there's a heart that loves the light, that holds a place for hope, and feels gratitude for each new day. In that heart, the sun is always rising and helping to fill the world with light. Where does the sunrise begin? The sunrise begins in you.